Is this your first time at the tavern? It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What you'll be having? Can I get some water, please? <laughs> I need water. Fine choice. I want you to be paying. Paying for water? What do you mean paying for That's why I asked for water so I didn't have to pay for anything. Ew, what is he doing? It sounds disgusting in there. Ew. Welcome back, dear. What did that good-for-nothing caretaker have to say for himself? Bro, he was doing butt stuff with a rodent. I heard the squeaking. It's, it was disgusting, dude. And how is business today, Mistress Teva? <gasps> dude, it's all for now. It's all for now, dude. No, no, get away from me. Over there. Quickly, someone's in trouble. I will save any woman in danger. Fear not, my lady. I come to protect. Well, well, what have we here? An extra A pair of butt cheeks? Alrighty, guys, today we're gonna do some more Shadowbringers MSQ. We finished the first three quests of the main chain quest line. Yes, uh, uh, two days ago or some shit. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember exactly when we did it. But we're back. We're back at it. We've been addicted with the PvP shit, but that's fine. It's time to do some MSQ. We have to go find Alphanol. We need to go find Alize. But for today, we're just gonna find Alphanol. We're gonna figure out where the hell this bitch is, and we're gonna get that done. So far, Crystarium, beautiful. My most favorite area in the entire game. Look at those god rays, dude. Look at the beauty, my guy. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. Well, let's get into it. In search of Alphanol. You will visit Alphanol on the Kusiola, then. Excellent. As I mentioned, your destination is an island off the west coast, so you will need a mount capable of making the journey. I just got a polar bear, dude. I just got a polar bear. That mount's good enough. Here's a letter of introduction. Present to the Shem Denjimai or Zhenmai, the master of beasts at Tamenos Rookery, and he will take care of you. When you seek Alphano, be sure to pass on my warmest regards. We'll see. We'll see. I'll come back for the Alize shit after. Your face is unknown to me. What business have you at my Rookery? I have a letter. I need one of your fancy cocks, please. Huh, signed by the Exarch, no less. Yes, I can provide you with the Amaro for passage up to Kosia. I will pick you out a friendly whelp. An Amaro, you say? That's right. Mounts like my great friend over here are common sights in these parts, but I gather you hail further afield. More accustomed to Chocobos, perchance? I hear that there are a few places where they ride little, a little else. Hmm. Seeing as you are plainly unaccustomed to riding Amaro, I think it's best I accompany on this flight myself. I don't need your help. Bro, I don't need your help flying. Any Zood worthy of the name could do it, of course, but the Exarch sent you to me, and so you safely arrive is my responsibility. Gather your things and meet me at the Amaro launch. One of our junior tamers will attend to you while I ready the mounts. You want to fly to Amaro Kodizia? Well, I suppose it's Master Zhenbai is, is going with you. Yeah, like he's fucking babysitting me. Wait here, please. The Master should be along with the mounts shortly. Should you lose his compass, speak with Jess Ren and the Marl launch in the Crystallium to get a, to obtain another. Lost compasses can be replaced by speaking to them, okay? I don't give a shit. I don't lose my compasses. I don't lose my shit. I take care of it. I'm a very responsible Dark Knight. Hold on. Rustling breeze, mute. The pounding surf, frozen. Time itself takes a breath. I was gonna get some water. Light's edge. All is perfectly still. The world captured in a painting, locked in a moment. Music, faint and fleeting, drifts coastward on the lifeless air. And in the distance, beyond the broken earth, a city beckons. Bro, that that tower looks like, like a, a building in India or something, doesn't it? We are arrived. This is the cracked shell beach on the eastern coast of Kuzia. You should be safe here for your presence. Compared to the mainland, sin eaters, sin eater attacks are far less prevalent, and the native beasts are not any more dangerous than elsewhere. It is the people you should be wary of. Oh, look at all the sunken ships next to the next to that tower. Spy you that city in the distance. That is Ulmor, the island's main settlement. It rivals the Crystallium in scale, and once uh, I was once an ally in a battle against the abominations. For years, the Ulmorian elite have fancied themselves to uh, have fancied themselves the masters of what remains of our broken will. They have gone as far as to offer the leaders of, of other settlements their protection if we bend the knee. But to say their ideals are questionable, 
would be putting it mildly. The Christarium is one among many who resist the heavy-handed authority, and while we are not at war, our, res our relationship with Umar is strained at best. It may be wise to conceal your ties with the Exarch during your stay here, especially in the vicinity of the city. I am glad you understand each other. Now, the Exarch has instructed me to divulge a secret that should make your finding your friend a good a deal easier. Listen closely. I'm listening. I'm listening. If you head south along the coast, you would eventually come to the Fisherman's Shack. A friend of the Crystallium lives there, a man who goes by the name of Abor. Abor keeps an eye on everything that happens in Corsia, and will be able to point you in the right direction. Just hand him a sprig of time that would let you know that you can be trusted. Here, this should be enough. Find your friend. I will stay here with the Amaro until you are ready to return. Don't make me kill you. Don't make me kill you. That's right, pussy. That's right. You better fucking run. What you after? Fish? Crab? I think you, I think I've got an eel in the bell somewhere. If you do, if you've got a taste for him. Actually, I have drugs. It's the devil's lettuce. Oh, I do love a bit of time. Chuck some in the pan, and it's a bloody festival of flavor. Now, what is it I could do for you? Can't say there's been any major upsets to report these past few weeks. How for now? Hey, hi. I know the one. Our young champion of the drowned Rodden. Elmo's richer than all of Novant put together, but it's a different story for them as live as as live outside the city. As live outside the city or as live outside the city? But it's a different story for them to, as live outside the city. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't register in my brain. I don't know. Fuck it. It doesn't make sense. Most spend every waking moment try, just trying to stay alive, which makes your friend, your friend's dedication to helping others stand out all the more. I, I can hazard a guess as to where he is now, but get a message to him. But you'll need somewhere quiet to meet, away from the prying eyes. Make for still tired. That's the fishing village just up the path there. You're looking for a rundown excuse for a tavern that locals call the Leaky Keel. Wait there, and I'll see the Alphanol joins you. I bet. All right, I'm here. Where's Alphanol? I don't see him. I don't see him. Where is he? This is your first time? Is this your first? Is that the dude or is it a chick? That's a chick. Is this your first time in the tavern? It's customary to buy a drink if you mean to loiter. What you'll be having? Can I get some water, please? <laughs> I need water. Fine choice. I want you to be paying. Paying for water? What do you mean paying for water? That's why I asked for water so I didn't have to pay for anything. Wow, dude. Imagine charging people for fucking water, dude. Wow. The fuck is this? I want to speak to your manager now. Let me speak to your manager. Well, now, those are exotic. Where did you come by coins like that? I'm sorry, dear. I, ha I don't doubt they have value, but I don't have a touchstone to test your purity, and I'm not going about to go begging for one from the neighbors. So we'll have to come to some other arrangement. I can pay it some other ways, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dude? Ah, uh, here's an idea. There's a common to the north where we grow our vegetables, but lately the pests have been eating more of them than we have. What do you say about a bit of extermination work? I mean, she says she's too lazy and doesn't want to go ask her neighbor for a stone to test my guilt. But instead, she wants to send me across town to go fucking kill some bugs or some shit to, uh, to go to go to go do some extermination work, dude. Why can't I just go grab the stone from your neighbor? It's a lot easier. I want you to squash any vermin you find. Then visit the caretaker and give him your earful from me for sleeping on the job. He'll be in the old silo next to the fence snoring like as not. Do that for me, and you can laze about here as long as you like. Ah, uh, fine. Excuse me. No response. You knock on the door. Where is he? Knock on the door again. Excuse me. This is the police. Open up. Open the fucking door. This is the police. Ew, what is he doing? It sounds disgusting in there. Ew. You hear a faint squeaky from the room beyond. Time to burst and save the day, a brave adventurer. Welcome back, dear. What did that good-for-nothing caretaker have to say for himself? Bro, he was doing butt stuff with a rodent. Hey, I heard the squeaking. It's, it was disgusting, dude. Gone? Huh. Must have left to join the rest of the hopefuls. Oh, he wasn't there. My bad. In Gate Town, outside Ulmor, you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, do you? And there, I was thinking you were another dreamer. Well, never mind all that. Take a seat wherever you like, dear. You have more than earned it. I'll even throw in another drink on the house. It better not be water now. I want the top shelf shit. If you're gonna give me a, dr a free drink, it better be top shelf. And how is business today, Mistress Teva? <gasps> dude, it's Alphanol. It's Alphanol, dude. Oh, frenetic. Look, I have a new customer. Dude! Dude, what's up, cuz? Bro, it's been a while, dude. Why you been my guy? 
Bro, your lips look chapped, bro. You need to drink some water. You need some hydration in your life. Look at them chapped ass lips. The barley seeds you wanted. They should produce a better harvest than the last. What, just like that? Oh, well, for now, you really are a deer. No, he's a human. Actually, he's an elf person. He's not a deer person. Well, I'd best be tidying up some of those empty shacks before the pests move in. Keep an eye on the place while I'm out, eh? Don't trust them. Don't trust the Alphano lady. All right, good. Now that she's gone, I can go behind the calendar and get that top shelf shit. You know what I'm saying? Alphano, you down to get fucked up with me? Ah. It seems an age since last we spoke. Not since the prisoner exchange in Doma and Yotsuyu. It has been even longer for me, of course, if you count the days I've spent here. But the time has only added to the relief I feel seeing you safe and well. Me? I was more worried about you. I'll lie to him, sure. Sure, I'll lie to him. I only care about Estola, but sure. Alize said much the same thing. I don't think I've ever had such a scolding. But I believe an exchange of news is in order. Come, tell me of your arrival and all that came before. Well, there's this Diamond Hands guy that you probably met. Did he try to get you to invest in GME and AMC stock too? I see. Both the Exarch and Alize told me what they knew of events. But I had stubbornly clung on to the hope that all-out war might yet be avoidable. And poor Tataru. She must be sick with worry. We must endeavor to return as soon as we may. Yes, dude. We do. It would be nice to bring her good tidings for a change. But Bro, his lips are so shiny well. now. It's like he it's heard me about his lips being checked. It's like, it's, it's like he heard me and he put on some Carmax or something. Orianger's vision of the future has, I fear, every chance of coming true. By his description... The catalyst for the Calamity was a formless and deadly weapon employed by the Garlean Empire. Which can only mean one thing. Black Rose. Damn, damn, damn. Gaius was telling you the truth. When we were on the trail of the Asians, we saw evidence that the gas was being manufactured once more. They killed a whole village? Oh, Gaius son of a bitches. That the project had been scrapped. But so long as there are wars to be waged... There will always be those determined to win by any means. And thus simply destroying the existing stores of Black Rose would do little to alter fate's course. In that sense, our involuntary journey here to the first was something of a boon. Together with the Exarch, we've developed a theory as to how we believe the rejoining will be set in motion. Hmm. I'm sure Orianger himself will cover the subject in more detail. But I can tell you the process requires that both worlds, the Source and the First, be facing an existential threat. One being Sin Eaters, of course. That's easy. That's an easy threat. Not even a challenge. They are a menace that I would dearly love to remove. And not just to avert a calamity. That's gonna be easy to kill them, bro, because I am I am as, as holy as it can be. I am as holy as it can be. No sin ever to exist within me. So there'll be nothing for the sun eaters to eat. Right? <laughs> they would starve if they try to eat me because there's just no sin inside of me. That's right. That's right. I may be a stranger to this world, but I will not stand idly by and let innocent people be slaughtered. That is what brought me to the gates of Yulmor. Ignoring its pretensions as a kind of capital city to what remains of the world, it is nonetheless a center of power and authority. Hmm. If any solutions are to be found, I believe our search should begin there. What say you, old friend? Hungry for another adventure? Oh, dude, I'm starving. I'm starving, dude. I could eat a whole adventurer sandwich. That's right. And so we take to the road once more. All right. There it is. We're gonna we're gonna hold hands and walk into the sunset together. Assuming you have no objections, let us make our way directly to the city outskirts. If we time our arrival just right, you may be lucky enough to see why I have yet to set foot in Elmore. Despite my best efforts to do so, come from here we must head west and then across a small bridge. Okay. Bominos. Corsia seems peaceful, doesn't it? Almost familiar. I had a similar impression of a Crystarium even in the distant world. People are much the same. <sighs> To think that whenever a calamity struck the source, a reflection such as this one, with all its culture and the history, we uh, was being erased from the from the, was being erased from existence. I can't. Why? Do, why is it so hard to read? Why? No, no, get away from me! Over there, quickly! Someone's in trouble. I will save any girl. I will save any woman in danger. Fear not, my lady. I come to protect this thing. Protect the fights. Look out. 
Come on, get him, get him down, come on. Rise, my lady. Oh, she's an old lady, she's a geezer, dude. My poor heart, thank you, young sir. Ah, there you are, in my haste, I lost my bearings, but I see you have the situation well in hand, fine work. Oh, you are right, madam. Just a few bruises where, from where I fell. Nothing compared to what is in store for me before this brave soul came to my rescue. I honestly thought I was done for. My feet are not as swift as they once were, and I knew there was no left to hear me scream. Not, not that I let that stop me. Huh. Should I probably leave my old house behind and queue up outside, or more with the rest of them? Doubt those fancy lords and ladies and would welcome to an old crone like me still. Even a shack near the gate has to be safer than to stay here. One would hope. Either way, I suggest you avoid wandering alone, lest you make the sin eater's task any easier. Thank you again. You saved my life. Now, I am sure strapping a lad like you has little to fear, but I wouldn't linger long in this place. There's not to be had here but cobwebs and memories. Um, excuse me. I just saved your life. Can I, uh, can I get some kind of payment, please? Tis the lady that says, Many in these parts have been abandoned their homes to live in Elmo's shadow. Should the Sin Eaters descend upon the region, there are precious few with the strength to fight them off. Speaking of which, have you been told of these monsters? Uh, kind of. A brief story then. Twas not long ago the flood swallowed the better part of the world, and that the Sin Eaters first appeared, some beastly, some bashous. Yet, regardless of their form, all seem incapable of speech, and all are driven by the same insatiable appetite for mortal aether. They are predators, and we are their prey. Gosia suffers from the far fewer attacks from than most regions, but even so, the list of the Sin Eaters' victims grows longer by the day. A tragedy without end. Still, we have won a small victory this time. At last. Now, shall we press on? We need to return to where the, re to where the road forks and the fall of the path that leads to west. Okay, just lead the way, chat. The gate up ahead is known as the Open Arms, and Yulmor itself lies beyond. Oh, it's Yulmor. My bad, cuz. This, meanwhile, is the aptly named Gate Town. The dwelling place of the many desperate souls who hope to be chosen to live in the city proper. So only the chosen ones live in Ulmor? Or Yulmor, whatever? That's kind of fucked. Ah, uh, I thought I recognized you. Brought a new friend, eh? <laughs> I'll bet you got a trick or two up your sleeve. Maybe even three. Get to show me. Sorry, I skipped it. He's not here to compete. Leave him be. Wait a minute, I would love to compete. Well, I was only making conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Oh, God, what's going to happen? to our hopeful petitioners one and all your more extends its warmest regards am i the only weirdo that finds female clowns kind of hot or female jesters kind of hot am i a fucking weirdo let it be known that a lady of distinction wishes to dine on fish divide like harley quinn is my favorite fucking uh female villain or female character in all the marvel places or all the fucking you know that world. Okay, I don't even know how to say it. DC, Marvel, fucking who gives a shit? You know what I'm talking about. She's my favorite one. We seek a master culinarian who can guarantee seafood perfection. Dazzle the matron with your delicious dishes and life in the city will be yours to enjoy. Even on days when fish is not on the menu. So they need a, they need a oh, personal chef? Answer the call. Name yourself or another. We might not at all. I don't know how to cook. I know how to boil water. I know how to make a mean pot of ramen noodles. Do you recall how I said Yulmore was a center of power and authority? Well, that is not the only reason for its fame. It is also known as the city of final pleasures. The noble and the wealthy who survived the flood gathered here to live out the rest of their days in decadent abandon. A poor man could sooner pass through the eye than needle than Yulmore's gate. The only way the common folk can enter this perverted paradise is if they fulfill the whim of one of the privileged. And so they are picked over like market produce. Damn. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> what a catch! We'll not be 
throwing this one back? Wait a minute. This seems kind of sus. So, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just if they tell all the citizens, you know, like you can do this and you earn your right to get into the city. But to find out they get in the city and then they're originally become a prison, they immediately become a prisoner or some shit, and like get put in an arena versus lions or some crack for like the rich's amusement or fucking fight each other like in a gladiator's ring or fucking get killed and put into like a, some kind of stew pot or some shit like some psychotic crap having seen your all too obvious charms we welcome you with open arms come join us in the city of splendor and live out your life in an ecstasy of endeavor this seems too good to be true This place seems too good to be true. Oh, just look at those expectant faces. What could you possibly be waiting for? Well, well, what have we here? An extra share. A pair of butt cheeks? Celebrate our newest resident. It's a pair of butt cheeks. Whose butt cheeks are those? For you. Enjoy. Thank goodness. Meal is a foodstuff which Yulmore routinely doles out to the people of Gate Town, and apparently a staple for its citizens as well. Many here rely on it to survive in these times of scarcity. Yet the whole arrangement just seems. Yeah, this whole thing seems fucking weird. Dude. Just say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, it's fucking weird, dude. The hell are you looking at me for? The fuck are you looking at me for? Look at me with those gorgeous ass eyes. The fuck? Don't look at me like that. I ain't no simp. Now, you understand what my attempts to end the city have thus far come to naught. The dubious privilege of residency must be won via a contest with ever-changing rules. They say this policy has been in place for the past two decades, ever since Yulmore's current ruler came into power. Yet, from what I have seen, it does more than harm than good. Not only does it distract people from our shared struggle against the sinniness, it robs them of their self-sufficiency. I have tried to propose ways that they can improve their lot, but my words invariably fall on deaf ears. The attitude is so entrenched now, I worry that, well, mayhap you should take a turn around Gate Town and judge the situation for yourself. Uh, so we gotta talk to three peeps. Stay here, are you? Can't blame you for wanting a slice of old Moore's pie. If you ask me, you should ditch in that sour face, brat, and make a home for yourself here. Gate Town's not much to look at yet, aye, but at least it's safe, and the mole is the best thing I've ever tasted. What is the mole thing made out of? Like, is it a pastry? Is it bread? Is it... Is it some kind of meat? Is it a, is it a dessert? You know what this kind of reminds me of? This game has me gives me a lot of memories of Legend of Dragoon. This village kind of reminds me the village that was outside of the Black Castle that had that had a uh, Emperor uh, Emperor Dole in it, or sorry Emperor Diaz. Just look at it. Can you imagine a more beautiful city? Every day I dream of the life that awaits for me inside those walls. Oh, will they ever pick me? Probably not. Probably not, lady. You've seen what Gate Town has to offer. Yeah. These people can no longer fend for themselves. They've become dependent on handouts for ma of mail and believe you more is the answer to all their woes. Yet, no matter how I frame my encouragement, they seem unwilling, nay, unable to conceive any of, of any other way of life. Yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. But guys, listen, this is where we're going to call it right here. This is where we're going to call it. We found Alpha and all. We helped out a couple of chicks. We made the the innkeeper refuse uh, forced us to pay for fucking water. She charged us gill for some water. What a damn shame. We finally made it to this city. What is this city called? Yulmore. We made it to the city. We have a bunch of people waiting outside, basically seeming like they're just waiting to die. It's so sad. So depressing. So disappointing, but you know what next time when we come back, we're gonna save everybody We're gonna get them out of here. We're gonna get it done We're gonna inspire the people to fight for themselves and we're gonna break down the city walls and we're gonna let everybody inside That's right That's right dude.
guys if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification you get notified when i post future content guys thank you all for hanging out in chat thank you all for hanging out with me and bullshitting with me here in chat i love you all immensely and with all that said guys i will catch you all next time on the flip side Peace.